This is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. One day in the near future, you'll be able to travel back and forth between two different modeling zones, parametric and history free. That's what Autodesk promised when it began working on Autodesk Inventor Fusion, an experiment that was supposed to result in a mechanical software that combines parametric and history free modeling. In the first release, however, Inventor Fusion was a one-way street. That is, it lets you go from parametric to history free, but it doesn't give you a way to come back. But in the second release, which the company calls Inventive Fusion Technology Preview 2 with Change Manager, the round trip becomes a reality. When you download the latest version of Inventive Fusion, you'll get a zip file that contains two executables. One to upgrade Inventor Fusion, another to install Change Manager plugin to Autodesk Inventor 2010. By the way, I found out Change Manager only works with Inventor 2010 subscription licenses, so if you have a standalone license, it probably wouldn't work. Here's how it works this is a fairly simple part with just two sketches, a few extrusions, and blends created in Autodesk Inventor using classic parametric methods. Now I'm going to open this part in Inventive Fusion and perform a few direct edits on it. First, I'll just push the surface in. Then I'll apply a few rounded corners. What the heck, let's just go ahead and add a whole new feature, an extrusion. Okay, I think I've done enough damage, so I'm going to save this part in Inventor Fusion in its default DWG 3D format. Now watch what happens when I open the same part again in regular inventor. I now see two overlapping parts, one as before, another as has been edited in Fusion, with a list of changes awaiting approval. Let me go through this list one at a time and check those changes as they are highlighted in comparison. Now I can accept them or reject them one at a time. If I decide to adopt them all, the direct edits become part of my parametric model. Let me show you the history tree as it is now. The new blends I did in Fusion along with the extrusion are now part of my parametric model's feature history. In fact, I can continue to edit this blend as I would any other features in my feature tree. I experimented with a few parts with increasingly complex blends and rounded edges to see how Change Manager would resolve them. In some cases, it simply cannot resolve. Where the geometry cannot be resolved, you get this message. I believe that, over time, Fusion is bound to get better at translating more complex edits into parametric features. But there may be some direct edits that simply cannot be converted into parametric features. Autodesk's plan is to combine what you see in Autodesk Inventor Fusion into Inventor proper. So eventually, Inventor itself would become a single package that offers both parametric and history-free modeling, something very few rivals can claim to be able to do at the moment. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine, somewhere on the bridge between parametric and history-free zones.